Hello everyone, this is Hesse Lord. Today I got a special surprise for you. I'm gonna put this on YouTube as well, but I got a surprise for you, okay? First off, I'm checking air filters. This first air filter that I pulled up this car, really simple. I'm gonna take this off of here. As you can tell, this is a Mercedes. I got a special project for you. Since I did a CLS 550, this is the air filter. That's supposed to be yellow, not black. That has to be changed, okay? So, for now, let's go back in. For now, until I get some money saved up. And then, this is gonna be swapped. I haven't pulled off the other side yet, but I'm going to, which is, I can't wait to see that one. Oh, this side had a dead rat in, by the way. Okay, I bought this car from a dealership, okay? Just from a dealership. I'm not gonna say what dealership it is, but I'm just gonna say a dealership, okay? It's, I bought it as is, but I got it for a hell of a good deal. Um, I bought it for, I bought it for, they listed it as $6,300. Well, $6,400 is what they listed it as. But I talked them down and I got it down to $4,300. And I paid for it straight out the door. It has aromatic suspension as well. I'm gonna show you this here in a second. Sorry about the loud noise. I'm sinking down this air filter right now to this frame that it needs to be. Make sure you don't go too tight because you will snap this fucking elastic. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take the other side now. This is the whole air filter. Okay. Air filter one, air filter two for the V6 model and V8 and none. Okay. Okay. And this car, I have to do a tune up on, and it turns out this E320 has two spark plugs per cylinder. Which is mm, kind of spinning. I uh, looked at my local auto parts store and they, uh, Told me it'd be about 88 bucks for a set of spark plugs, all 12 of them, because they're two spark plugs a piece and it's a V6. Do the math, it's kind of common sense. But, I'm gonna stop over the camera there in a second. I gotta get this air filter off. Air filter thing off. Ooh, you can hear that pry right there. Oh, I'm gonna show you this right now. I can already tell it looks pretty. Right there. Here we go. Oh. It's just, oh. Is it bad? Oh, it's bad. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty. This is what happens when you don't do maintenance on your car. This is what it's gonna, it's gonna freak out, it's gonna stall, it's gonna stutter, it's gonna. Okay, but I'm pulling this one off now. Oh my god. You gotta be careful with this because I don't wanna break them too yet. Look at all that. Not even changed. Someone didn't give a shit. Right now I'm just gonna dust it off right now. Whoa, see all that dust? Woo! No! Get all that shit out of there. This is why it's common to do routine maintenance. Now, if you have a Mercedes, you'll know that it pops up some service lights called Service G, Service A, Service B, you know, shit, etc. On this car, when I drove it home, Service G popped up. And that's, just, that's the car's nice way of saying, please do maintenance on my ass. It's a nice way of saying it, okay? And what Service G basically is, is tune-up, belt, spark plugs, air filters, fuel filter, the whole nine yards is really simple. It's not hard at all. Yeah, it's really simple. But I'm sinking this other air filter right down now after I cleaned it. Don't go too tight because you will snap the fucking plastic. And one of these pieces alone is a good five to six hundred dollars. You know? But I got a special surprise for you outside that I'm going to discuss with you guys. Perfect. Got that seated down. Everything's seated down. Looking pretty. Everything's flat. Everything's flat. Let me check the sides. This could be seated out a little bit more tight. I don't know my liking, but, but yeah. It has to be seated out a little bit more tighter than my liking. I just don't want to snap it off. go. Okay, this side's flat. This side's lifting up a little bit, so chances are later on I have to change out this piece because it is lifting up and I can see looks like there's some old soot there from people trying to put it back together with the crack. This is starting to lift off. That's starting to lift off, but this car is a big Until I get everything done, I'm going to do videos on it and show you guys what I'm doing to it. And it should be a lot simpler. So let's go outside and I'll show you what's going on. Really simple. Let's take it. 
take this big honking piece with us. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sit you down on the toolbox. Open the doors. Okay, come on with me. Ooh. All right. So like I said, this car was $4,300. Not a bad chunk of change, you know. It's a Mercedes, of course it's gonna have some racers, okay? Like any other normal Mercedes. See, V6. Pretty soon I gotta check the spark plugs. <coughs> Belt's fried. It's squeaking. It needs to be replaced. I haven't checked the uh, oil filter, but I'm going to here soon. Oh, look at that. I'm even missing a bolt on the map sensor. Love it. Okay, and I see there is a valve cover leak right there. It's going down. This has to be changed, which is really easy to do. It's really simple to do. This side is not leaking that I can see. Oh, yeah, it is right there on top. There, right there. All that leak has to be gone. All this whole leak has to be gone. Simple. Oh, that's really simple. A brainless monkey can do it. But this has air ride suspension. Look at the front. Hmm. It's riding pretty high, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the rear. Shit. <laughs> that tells me I'm going to have to do some air shocks, which is no bueno. Well, the rear's on the E320. The E320. Okay. They're really easy to do. They're really simple. Really simple as hell. See, when it gets warmer, it's gonna rise. When it's cold, hmm. But that's a warning sign telling you, shit's getting real. So, I'm gonna install this air intake back onto here. But first, I'm gonna look at my coil packs down here. I can see I'm running a set of wires down here. I got, looks like a spark plug down here, which ought to be fun to get off. One inside. Which ought to be really fun. Mercedes likes to do their special shit, but... Ooh. These plugs are kind of spendy, so you want to be really careful. That is not a good sign. I got oil in there. Oh, great. So that's not good. Let me check the plug with a finger really quick. The dry finger. Oh, go down here. Okay. Okay. Okay, right there, right there, okay, okay, so that is just valve cover, that is valve cover leak, just going down, you can tell it's right there, it's going down, okay, so plug this monkey back in, be careful with these, because they are sensitive as hell, okay, so plug her back in, right there, and you'll hear it click, right there, you can pop, right there, so I got a little bit of issues here, not too bad of issues. Looks like the exhaust is still there. And I am hearing some whooping going down the road. Like whoa, 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 whoa. So chances are we're gonna do a transmission service and a rear differential service as well. I mm, love it. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a few right here. Whoa. Uh, you can see what Perfect. So this piece, the air intake piece. Just basically, grab it. Okay, don't hit your hood. Well, that thing's gonna have to be replaced first. Go for your intake right there. Go for your intake, lap that down. Kind of guide her into position. Okay, as you can tell, it's gonna grab that pin, it's gonna grab that pin, and it's gonna pop into place. That's when you know you are there. Okay, make sure your back is on. Oh, I got a transmission dipstick. I'm gonna check the transmission plug. And if it's not red, it needs to change. That's on. That's on. I'm going to pop off my oil filter cap. See what's going on there. I got a valve cover leak on this side. I got it to take care of. Belt's going to have to be swapped. Spark plug swapped. Clean everything up. Throw it all back together. Ooh, power steering. <gasps> it should be red. It looks like there ain't shit in there. What the? <laughs> wow, these dealerships are just really riveting. Really riveting. There's nothing even in there, man. Oh. And I'm hearing a whopping from the front, which could possibly be off-balance tires. So I'm going to look into that, too. But now, ooh, I need to check the oil. This doesn't have a dipstick. Mercedes don't have a dipstick. It smells like it is running clean, but the little exhaust is going through it. And it needs an oil change. I can tell by the soot on it. You can tell by that right there. See all that dark stuff right there? Where my finger is? 
right there, Doug, so, yeah. That needs no change. Really simple to do. It's a cap filter. It's up front. It's right here in front of me. I'll show you where it is in a second. Transmission. Love it. It's not a dipstick. It's just a cap. So I can't check it unless I drop it. Lovely. Can't wait to do that project. Can't get the other hose. Slide the bottom end first. Go right there. Then push that back down, up, over, in. And then slide her monkey ass forward. Oh. Oh. She's gonna have to wiggle for you. It's gonna have to be a wiggle wiggle. You gonna have to give some, lose some, basically. I think that's in there. Yep, that's in there. Okay, that's on, that's on, that's on, that's on. Okay, let me pop off this oil filter. I'll show you how to do that. Really simple to do. Just don't break it. See? <laughs> Engine oil, add. Right there's your cap. And only use mobile one. I recommend it on Mercedes, please. You tell I got a leak. This all must be taken off, cleaned up, put it back together. Oil filter, right here, okay? Right here, okay? Simple. Really simple. Really simple. Belt, how loose are you? It's really tight, so that tells me my tensioner is outstanding. But you can tell a little bit. Those little cracks and grips. Okay. That has to be changed, which is not good. It's simple to do. There's my tensioner right there. Boom, easy. Alternator's fine. Just got some leaks. Um, so I'm gonna stop on this. I'm gonna go get my oil filter in. Gonna take that thing off and see what she's doing. Do not break it. Don't break it. Fair warning, don't break it. Okay. Go in my toolbox right now. As you can see, I'm all organized. Okay. Let's see here. Something really nice and easy to pull it off. Really nice and really easy. It can't break. Ooh, I have an idea. If I have some towels. If I, ah, I do have towels. It's simple. We're just gonna give it some cushion. Now I can tear it off. Okay, so get my big huge ratchet right here and get this claw right here and I'll show you. Really simple. But the air shocks, the air shocks, I will do a video on so you guys can see it as well. It's simple, I'm gonna do it out here in the yard anyway. Okay, that, that, so oil filter, towel. Okay, make sure you bunch it up. Okay, bunch that. Okay, then get your claw. Put you right there real quick. Right here, set it on top. So I just did this. Okay. Get your Make sure you're going the off direction, which is right there. Beep. Okay. Grab it. Do not jerk it. Go smoothly. This is a smooth transaction. Okay. Ooh. This car is old. It's an 04. Okay, I can understand it's an 04, you know, but at least take care of some maintenance on it. Okay, I got the oil filter loose. Cool. So now I can just hand twist that off. And we're gonna see if it's bad. Here we go. Beep, 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 beep. You hear that gas pressure leak? The air leak? That tells me I have. Oh my god. That is bad. Well, I'm gonna need an oil change. <sighs> don't you love it when dealerships just don't do the shit they're supposed to do, you know? Or they try to sell you some bullshit. You know, you know, it's not gonna cover shit, you know? So I tighten that thing down. Okay, clean up my mess. Okay. But I can see that those are issues. So when I get this cover on, I'm gonna fire it up and I'm gonna show you. Oh yeah, of course this cover. Mm -hmm. You have to take off your oil cap for this. So I'm gonna unscrew my cap, put it on the top. Grab this thing right here. This thing slides into place. Bop, bop, there we go. Sits down, nice and perfect. Good girl. Okay, now, oil cap is on. There we go. Nice. 
It's easy peasy lemon squeeze. Alright, everything's put back together. Got my key here. This key fob's gonna be changed like a garbage it is. That's garbage. But other than that, it's really clean. Yeah, it's really clean. So, this is what it tells me when I start the car. Well, watch that middle gauge. Stop, car is way too low. Car is way too low, it tells me it's 19 degrees outside. Turn that radio off, please. I want to hear her bitch. So, I am going to leave the video here, because it's already been 15 minutes. And this is where it was, okay? That side. I'm gonna check the other side, because it should be the same for both rears. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're on the frame. The front is outstanding. This side's higher up than normal. You can hear that pump going off. Hear that squeak right here? That squeak, 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 squeak. That's a bad belt. Close the hood. Make sure all my tools are out of the way first. But see the grills dented in. I got a crack right down the buckle. You know, not bad. Not bad for Mercedes. You know. Now I'm gonna end this video here. And I'm going to give it 15 to 20 minutes to rise up the ass end. Now, if it doesn't, that tells me this car ain't going nowhere. And I'm going to have to wait. Wait. I heard the air engage. I heard air engage. It's still low. <laughs> it's not rising. They're simple to do. A brainless monkey can do your fucking air shocks. It's simple as shit. But if you don't know, I will show you how. Because it's the same for the rear, it's the same for the front. Easy peasy. So, it's not rising. I'm going to let it warm up. And if it doesn't change, I'm going to have to pull it to the other side of the lot. And yeah. Those parts, the uh, rear shocks aren't actually that bad. They're actually about 369 bucks. No, it's not bad for both, you know? Because you got to do them both in pairs. The CLS 550, 550 that I had were a thousand a piece. That shit was just, uh, you know. But as you can see, it's getting winter here. But I'm still gonna do it out here in the lot anyway. I'll freeze my ass off. I don't care. I got my long johns on. I'm toasty as a bug in a rug. Yeah, it's not rising. So I'll do a video when she's up in the air, and then I'll do my field test to see if I hear air leaking from the shocks. As you can see, these headlights have to be cleaned up. I got a fog light out in the bottom left right there. I got a marker out right there. Okay. I will show you how to do these. It's really simple. I also got a license plate bulb out as well that I will change, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay. But all in all, it's not a bad car. Okay. It just needs some love and attention. And when I get done with it, I want to sell it for about 15 to 30 grand. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. So, I will end the video here. Once again, this is the Hessian Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll upload this video right now. And let me know if you want to see these projects. Thank you so much.